attitude, okay, to what you're doing. Yeah. So my power is absolute key. Yes, sir. Extra point for your team. Seriously. No, because what he's doing right there, see, and that's what I love, is when people can literally relate other parts of the lessons to what's taking place now. Yeah, and that's fantastic mind being King Gover. Now listen up. The X-Men was created by a man called Stan Lee. And Stan Lee is awesome. The reason why he called them X-Men is for as multiple reasons. But the original X-Men, and Stan Lee knows this, the original X-Men came from of Northeast Africa. These are pharaohs. Okay? These are pharaohs. And they were called the X-Men. Egyptologists called them X-Men. Yeah, it is powerful, brother. Yeah? And the reason why they called them X-Men was because every time they saw them being dug up in the temples, that's why right, they were doing this. The reason why they were doing that was X-Men unlimited power. The X represented um their god called Osiris. What was their god called? Osiris. The word Osiris, okay? The god Osiris, he was a god of resurrection. And X was a sign meaning I'm resurrected, I'm powerful. That's where you got the term X factor from. It came from a term which means unlimited. That's why when you do multiplication in mathematics, you, do, you still use the sign of the X. It means literally to multiply your power. So X-Men were there called by the Nubian pharaohs that were literally there in Africa thousands and thousands of years ago. Now, watch this. One of the most famous X-Men that ever lived was this man there. His name was Imhotep. What was his name? Imhotep. Oh, you don't sound like Egyptians now. Imhotep. This sounds good, man. What? Oh, excellent bro. Oh, maybe you're going to have a good talk today. Yeah? His name was Imhotep. And the word Imhotep means he who comes in peace. That's what the word Imhotep means. He who comes in peace. And the reason why Imhotep was so important, because today, when you watch a film like The Mummy, they still use the word Imhotep for the they've got the mummy going around named Imhotep. That's not Imhotep. Imhotep lived. He's a real man that lived in the third dynasty approximately 5,000 years ago. Now the word dynasty, when I say third dynasty, you may think, oh, but Andrew, what do you mean by third dynasty? Let me explain to you. Dynasty is a, is a compound word. Din or dine asti. D-Y-N, anytime you see dine in front of a word, it means power. That's where you get the word dynamite, power. dynamic, dynamo. It means power. Asti means family or period. So dynasty means what? Powerful family. Thank you. Power, uh, 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 powerful family or powerful parents. He lived in the third dynasty. He wasn't a pharaoh. He was what was called the high priest. But not just any high priest. He was the first recorded multi-genius. He was all of these things in one. He was a renowned scientist, a doctor, a poet. A farmer, an astronomer, a chemist, a mason, and an architect. Yeah? He was profound. He was so great that when he died, thousands of years later when the Greeks came, they called him the God. They called him literally a God because no one... I mean, we are still living under the power of Imhotep today, and I'm going to show you how. So yes, sir. A mason. Brother, I love that question, see? How do I know that you're mega intelligent? Because only intelligent people ask questions like that. A mason, the many people think, oh, that's devil worship. No, that's what he's called in Freemason. The word mason literally means a stone cutter. Someone who works with stone. Okay, so he literally built um, many powerful stone buildings. I'm going to show you one of the buildings that he built. An astronomer is someone who studies the celestial movements, the stars. How did he study the stars and look like there's no technology. Oh! <laughs> Don't ever say that! Look, brother, look, I wish I had more time. See, when you say things like that, it makes me get excited. It gets me get excited. If you think technology started today, oh my goody gumdrops, hell no. Technology, all the technology you see today, believe me, are rooted in the history. There's nothing new under the sun. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff today. I promise you. That's a great point you made there, young man. Yes, sir. Oh, oh yeah. He just said it. There's no such thing as new technology, but we have evolved technology. I love it. Jeez. Okay. Now, listen up. Um, Imhotep, 
It was so great, he built the world's first step arm called Pyramid. When you see pyramids, that was Imhotep's invention. So every time you see a pyramid shaped building, you're looking at Imhotep's work. He built what's called the Step Pyramid, and he went up in step. It never used to look like that. This is after 5,000 years ago. And I'm telling you now, if you stand inside this pyramid, you will, you will not be the size of that red dot. It's over 240 feet high. It's ginormous. But if you've been there, oh, let's see, I've been there. It's just outside Cairo. I've been there. Oh, good sir. Oh, gosh. <laughs> touch me, touch me, touch me. You can stop filming that. <laughs> yeah, wicked, wacky. Yeah? Yeah? Believe me, man, you've got to go to the step pyramid, man. It's rude boy stuff, you know what I'm saying?